Hello and welcome to the 2024 Throw Pink Women's Team Championship presented by End of Disc Golf, held at the North Cove Leisure Center. On Catch Cam today, we have Michael Baker. Walkthrough footage by Vern Wyatt. And commentary team today, Sarah Nicholson and Ariel Walker. On the card today, we have the Fairway Queens, Paige Shu, Rachel Henson, Janet Hershey, and Margaret Shoemate. And we have Panic at the Tea Pad, Ariel Walker, Jocelyn Kung, Emily Cox, and Brandy Buckaloo. Hole 8 is a par 4, 453 foot shot where your first goal is to get out of the gap and land somewhere in bounds. From there, you'll need to safely cross the creek to access the green and give yourself a good look at a birdie putt. Alright, hole 8, 453 feet. First throw is out of a tight gap. Yeah, this one I find you really either want to push it straight or get a little bit hyzer out to the left if you're a right hand backhand player. Yeah, that was a great shot. I mean, to try to hit a gap at full power when you're trying to go the distance is, is super tricky. Oh, golly, bum. Watch what happened there. Oh, man. So there's some loose rocks on the left side of the tee pad, and uh, her follow through step just caught one of the loose ones oh, and man. kind of caught her off balance, <laughs> off guard. I feel like I failed as a TD there. Uh, no. Definitely not you. Oh, did she make it through that? I couldn't no, tell. No, it caught one of the late trees and actually kicked it farther in on the right. Nice. Yeah. Oh, wow, I would have thought that went further. You could even hear the snap on her fingers when it came out. Yeah. Yeah, this approach shot is tricky because it's the whole creek bed is lined OB at the top. So it, it's, and it's a little bit blind. So it's, it's definitely harder than it looks on camera. Absolutely. They probably have, I would say maybe 200 to like 175 here to get to the basket. <clears throat> Randy with a nice forehand over. Nice, safe nice in good throw. position. Yeah, this is the one pink basket on, on the course for throw pink. Awesome. Oh. This shot was fun from Jocelyn. Yeah, I've never seen anyone do that. I'm surprised. Like, usually people go straight at it. That was an incredible play. Yeah. This tricky pot, so we have to go. Oh. She gave it a great bid, just like right over the top there. And yeah, this is a tricky putt indeed. They're downhill from that basket. Oh, there it is. Paige gets it to drop. Oh, it's about time. Putt. I know she's thinking, man, it's about time. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a long one for you. Yeah, this is a little nervy. Oh, but it's stuck. You got it. For I a minute, though, you weren't one. sure, though. I yeah. You hesitated. Yeah. <laughs> you were like, okay, got, got it. <laughs> oh, a shout out to Ish with Down South Disc for sponsoring. Uh, hole nine, this is one of my favorite holes in the course because I love a good island hole. Um, it does give you the option, it's 242 feet. We have a lot of new players at this tournament, so it does give you the option to lay up before the cart path if you can't quite make it to the island. But with doubles, team play, I say go for it. Agreed. I mean, it's really tight off the tee, too. Oh, nice, Jocelyn. That ultimate background. I envy the smoothness she has with it. It's incredible. And definitely, like, just the sand trap having the higher sides held that in. If that had been a flat island, I feel like she would have just slid right out of that. Yeah. Oh, I'm surprised she went through the middle with the sidearm. <laughs> oh, but it worked. Yeah. I should not tell Brandy what to do. She clearly knows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is tough. So they're going to do this with two lefties. 
trickling away from the basket, but she made the island. That so. headwind stopped me from that turn yeah. it wanted to make at the end. I was like, I'll try oh, not. It wants to go to the basket. It wants to I love how much fun you guys are having. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. They were a great time. <laughs> So another cart's having some fun out there too. You can hear the cheers. Yeah, I can't remember what exactly oh, no, happened. Rachel. Somebody I think hit a really big putt right behind us, and we all turned around to look and may have rasped <laughs> Rachel just a little bit. Yeah, I think so. But this is speaking of putts. This is a scary putt. That is Ob behind her with an elevated basket, so you've got to get it up. But I mean, it is like maybe two feet behind the basket, if that. It's very scary. Oh, I'm pretty sure she's hit the basket on every single pot. Like, yeah. I mean, every single one. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, Jocelyn and Brandy ended up right next to each other. So, now it's just a matter of picking which one you want, Emily. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's closer, but I mean, look at that white OB line like that. And yeah. you have to throw it up. Like, yeah. oh, this pot. This is why I love this hole. I won't lie, I was begging her to not make me put this. <laughs> wow, okay. She, she may be nervous for a minute there. Uh, not like it was saying. All right, you survived the island hole. Congratulations. <laughs> for some reason, this hole has always given me trouble in the past. I, I don't know what it is. I usually end up like going just short of it, catching the grass early, just throwing it a little too low. So yeah, it's it's very hard to stick this island. They, this, Both groups, I would say, made it look pretty easy. Yeah, I don't think I've seen four people make it on one card. And I've been watching this hole for years, so <laughs> kudos to you guys. All right, hole 10, 211 feet. Um, I personally throw a slight forehand flex this also does go uphill, so I typically throw something a little faster just so that I could possibly get a skip over towards the basket. Um, we are playing the OB line uh, along that creek, so it does bring it into play. It's a little scary, but with two people, you can typically stay out of danger. Yeah, so it is a, t a super tight shot, and you just came off of an island hole, and now you've got to hit this tight gap. It's, it's incredible design. Keeps the golfers thinking. Oh, nice shot there. Oh, you were, were you scared of the OB there a little bit? You just no, actually, now that you say that, I hadn't even thought about it. <laughs> you definitely didn't get in any danger of hitting it. <laughs> Our, uh, our poor catch cam guy, I almost hit him on multiple <laughs> holes this day. Well, Felt pretty bad for him. I have to do some crowdfunding for a helmet for him. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> a great idea. <laughs> yeah, I think getting off this tee clean has to feel good regardless of where you, where you end up. I mean, it's incredibly tight. For sure. Paige oh. is so close with that one. I love seeing her throw to the side arm off the tee, though. That's yeah. not something she used to do. Yeah. Uh, her and I have become friends over the last couple of years, and it's been fun. If we go play fun rounds together, egging her on, trying that side arm. It's She's the only way to learn it. a long it. way with it. She's <laughs> looking great. So this is a tough footing for our group. The, that back foot's definitely lower than the front foot, and trying to putt downhill. Yeah, it's hard to get that nose angle just right, but two great bids for sure. Oh, oh man. This one, I, this one was definitely going in. Oh, my gosh. The iron leaf. Maybe a little coarse maintenance. Is, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sorry about that, Janet, and I'll cut that branch next time. <laughs> So oh. close. Yeah, I feel like her footing, she didn't quite get her footing right, so yeah. that was a tricky pot for her. Absolutely. Paige just cleaning them all up for the whole team. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, just happy to walk away with par on this one. Yeah. Tricky yeah. line off the, off the tee, and then with that OB on the right, too, it can be a, a bit scary. Yeah, this next hole, the hole C, we had to come up with this hole. It's 273 feet. It's actually to the old hole 13th basket, but they lost uh, 11, 12, and 13 when they sold part of the property. So this was kind of a 
All right, here we go. We need we need 18 holes, um, but it's still kind of fun. The basket's hanging inside of the trees there, and there's an OB Creek right in front of it. So um, even at 273 feet, it's, it's challenging. Or 269, according to the course T sign, but <laughs> ours is printed, so I feel like it's more legit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Yeah, this tee shot is really tough. Uh, you can see there's a slight hill, um, but then there's also that low ceiling. So it's a very delicate shot to get the right height on it, to get up and over, but then also not hyzer into that OB creek, just short of the basket. Yeah, and I haven't actually thrown this hole, but I feel like the branches hanging out on that tree to the right make the, the hyzer shot a little bit scary because you can nip one of those trying to come back in for even when you're trying to do like a safe layup in front of the river there. Yeah. Oh, Brandy. Brandy's shot looks so good. And it stopped just right at the OB. We were really thinking, all right, that one's definitely, that one made it across. And we got up there, and unfortunately, it had gone a foot into the OB. Oh, no. But Jocelyn sat very nice on the hill, so we were OK. Yeah, we had to make that OB just to, for speed of play and people not, people not losing ankles trying to climb down in there because it was actually dry for this tournament. Oh, yeah, that makes I think, sense. I think that low shot actually helped her not go in the OB. Yeah. Yeah, she caught on that left side of the fairway and really opens it up for that. Uh, for that there it down is. At the basket. I was wondering if anyone's going to go around the outside and mm -hmm. Janet, Janet did. Nice, so this, easy up. Yeah, this uh, basket being in the tree, you really have to pick which side of the tree you want to be on. Um, there are good sides and bad sides, so <laughs> just trying to leave it in that open gap that you can see. Yeah, well done. I didn't even think about that because if you end up on that back side, then you could be right at the basket, but then you, yeah. you, it's going to be tricky to get it in. Emily just showing me up. I mean, <laughs> She's like, somebody's <laughs> closer. <laughs> Nice, Margaret. Great up. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure because you like want to. You can't. You got to make an up that's good for your partner. You can't make an up that's good for your game. So you got to think about all right. What do I need to put it so that my other partners are in a good spot for their game? So yep. it's a lot of technical stuff here. Absolutely. Well, this looks tricky. Is is that tree in her way a little bit? I think just slightly. She's got a small oh, gap. There she, goes. she makes easy work of it. Yeah, she that that straddle putt actually helps her a lot out here. Being able to get on the other side of trees, I've noticed that. Yeah. Easy. I love a good hanging basket. I know people are judging me out there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're fun. Uh, it's certainly. I uh, don't have them everywhere, so seeing one every now and then, I can learn to appreciate them. <laughs> it's a, well, so, is sorry, it yeah. 349 <laughs> feet, um, pretty much dead straight. You do have an OB Creek on the right. Uh, there is also a ton of kudzu down there, so if you turn one over, there's a good chance you won't get it back. Um, but we're just trying to go up the middle with these and keep them in play. Do you think there's any shot of that outside line, the big hyzer to the right, or is that just ridiculous? No, I mean, I don't I don't have the distance for it, so I certainly don't try it. Maybe some of the really big arms, but I'll leave that to them. Oh, that's looking so this, nice. It's turned over just a little bit oh. and ends up down in that kudzu. We actually, uh, while we were down there looking for hers, I ended up finding three other pieces <laughs> along the way. Oh. I just threw something stable. Knew it would come back because there oftentimes is a bit of headwind on this hole too. So I just wanted to play it safe. Yeah, nice safe play. Uh, just said it there. <laughs> <laughs> the pre commentary commentary. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, the sidearm's scary with that OB on the right. Right? She absolutely sauced this. Yeah. Got a skip and it's wow. right on the edge. Very nice shot.
<laughs> I mean, this green, you can't really tell from the camera, but it, it is, it, it's more hilly than it looks, and it's, it's kind of scary. Ooh, well, I think Janet helped to show how scary it is. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that left hand certainly wants to go towards that OB. Uh, she just needed to put it a little bit wider. It's understandable. It's easy to do. Oh, Same no. thing. I think the, the wind also is catching them right at the end and just giving them that extra push OB, unfortunately. Oh, is she going to go for this with that OB behind it? Yes, yeah, she is. Okay. <laughs> Whew. That's a little bit of brandy luck right there. <laughs> Great speed control for sure. Mm hmm. Almost oh, there. nice bitch. She's got to feel good about that, though. Yeah, for sure. Oh, so oh. close. There it is. Nice. I think uh, Jocelyn also throws a fierce uh, as her butter. <laughs> oh, I did that once with Sarah Cunningham and I had a, used to have a white JK that looked exactly the same. I finally painted a smiley face on the top of mine because so many times nice. I almost put from her desk and I was like, I don't need to give you any more strokes. <laughs> <laughs> looks like you're stopping to give some directions. So. Yep, yep. <laughs> hole, hole 15 is super, super scary because um, the, the creek comes into play more than you think and the basket is right up against the creek. It's 267 feet. So most of the ladies play and are thinking, well, I have this distance, I can park it. Um, but you're not accounting for the fact that it plays right along that creek line. So I'm excited to see this shot. I like this hole a lot. I always find it a challenge. So Jocelyn goes with the backhand. Safe, good safe play there. Yeah. Staying away from the OB. No, oh, she got some good Gives distance long, there. Nice long look. Yeah, it's a scary pot coming back though. It is. Mm. Yeah, I like all of these holes that play along, when I'm not playing, that play along the river, you yeah. know, but when I am playing, I'm like, oh my God, there's some neobies. <laughs> there are a couple lines here. You can go out wider, but those outside trees come into play. Brandy goes for the forehand and it just kind of held over. Sometimes you get a lot of headwind coming up here and I think it just kind of drifted this one a little further left than she meant it to. Yeah, that's uncharacteristic for her. Ooh, so we got both lefties on this one. Yeah. Nice power, and she is inbounds in the fairway. I do that on a Heiser, and I shouldn't have. Oh, I know how you feel, Jenna. I shouldn't have done that, but it worked out. So. <laughs> Rachel absolutely sauced this. Wow. <laughs> it turned over in that headwind <laughs> I was just talking about, but she, oh my gosh, the thing went so far. Whoa. It was a line. Yeah. It was a line. <laughs> it was. <laughs> she went past the basket probably about 20-ish feet into some kudzu. Did you guys get that disc back? Oh, oh my god. So <laughs> close. Like I said, poor Paige. Today, she was just all over it. No, this is a scary bot. Yeah. Okay. She stay in? She stayed in. And so I said, all right, give this a bid. Just do it. Well, I got <laughs> <laughs> scary, I know. It is scary. She's just like, nope, nope not today. <laughs> body resisted. My mind said, do it. My body wouldn't do it. Still got a par though. All right, yeah. Oh. 16, 329 feet. This one I think is very scary. You've got a lot of room out to the right, but you've got that OB line going all the way up and past the basket with that creek on the left. So the play I find that is most reliable, throw right hand back in, just a big hyzer. Even if it holds out and goes too straight, at least it's safe. You definitely don't want to go inside on it. 
No, and you know, they made this oh, hole harder yeah, by yeah. elevating the basket this year. So yeah. if it wasn't already hard enough, now you have an elevated basket to put on. Well, they just got this one a little too high, mm -hmm. leaked over into the creek. Well, that's scary for your second shot because now you know your partner's OB, so that puts even more pressure on this. Yeah, uh, that, I was I was definitely battling myself. I said, do you go a little <laughs> less stable or do you just go for it? And well, decided you, to uh, just go for it. I said, why not? We We're already you chickened out on the last hole, so I, I guess you're like, all right, <laughs> I got to do something on this one. <laughs> Wow, that was smooth release. Oh, look at that nice. ground play. Yeah. yeah, that tree kind of caught oh, me. Oh, nice. Helped me out and sat Oh, me my right God. Over. No worries exactly. about the elevated basket so. with that drive. <laughs> I hope your partners thanked you yeah, for that. <laughs> the lesson in not chicken it out, folks. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> You'll have more fun if you don't chicken out. Let's put it that way. Sometimes. What would you throw for that? Uh, I threw throwing? one of my newish nukes. Oh. I'm trying to work it into the bag, and so it's got a good bit of stability, and I can just throw it hard and flat, and I know it'll go to the left eventually, but at least it fights the wind well. <laughs> yeah, it did. Nice skip, too. Mm -hmm. That was a good throw from Paige. Yeah. She just Ooh. caught the tall grass. She her shot was a lot like yours. She just didn't get that nice skip at the end. Yep. Yeah. So some of these fairways are cut nice and short, and then they'll cut short paths on the next <laughs> holes. Know. And she caught that small bit of tall grass between the path and the fairway, and it just ate it up. Oh. <laughs> nice pod. I mean, there's Ob right behind the basket, y'all. So yeah. she made that look easier than it is. Are you guys going to be able to reach it on this one? Or? Oh, you send Brandy down. She's got the height. Yep. <laughs> Brandy's our savior. <laughs> Man, hole 17. We're still playing by the river, y'all. But this one's a little bit less scary unless you're a big bomber like these ladies. For me, it's just, it's just, it's 303. I can't get there. I can just crush it out there. I'll hyzer in to safety. But um, these women do have to contend with the OB long and the OB left. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to see what's going to happen here. Every shot at River Run has a chance for greatness or shakeness is that a word can i say that <laughs> yeah we'll go with that <laughs> this hole is hard uh going to that point right at the back of the basket you oh. oftentimes get discs that'll yeah, leak out outside. one way or the other mm -hmm. depending on what you're throwing forehand backhand it's hard to stick it and you have to be brave as a righty and go over the ob and that's that's hard for some of us absolutely yeah, because I mean, you see it. The OB starts right in front of the in front of the tee pad. So if you throw it OB and it never comes back in, you're thrown basically from the tee pad again. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. There didn't used to be all that kudzu out there, but it is really taken over. So you can't even see the river on this one, but it's down there. <laughs> Whoa, Rachel. Rachel again. She's getting great snap and distance, and this one just off the fairway a little bit. But really good power. Yeah, she did tell me the other day we were talking, she's been working on her form. So I think that happens a lot when you're trying to tweak stuff. Um, but hey, if it gets you the distance, it's, it's worth it. Absolutely. Yeah, that was a great smooth. shot. It's a little skip oh. and then stops. Okay. That was awesome. So Jocelyn had leaked OB. She was probably up about level with the pin. Oh, um, wow. But since she had gone OB, we decided to go with Brandy's. Yeah, I know. I was like, let it go so early, trying to stay away from them. So yeah, Emily's uh, trying to avoid that branch right in front of her. Oh, I wasn't sure if she was still trying to decide what hand she was going to throw at. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe, honestly, with that branch there. <laughs> 
Good layup, yeah. I mean, with OB behind it, that was a smart play. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Just wow. pulled it a little bit right. It was a pretty far bid. And I know I'm certainly a victim of it where I try to give it a little more power mm -hmm. and then it just comes out late. Yeah, I'm surprised. That might be the first time Paige hasn't at least hit the basket in the whole round of 17 yeah. holes. So that's she should be proud of that. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, this next hole is my favorite. Yep. Hole 18, 306 feet. You're looking straight down the hill. You can play it short uh, of the pretty much island, but if you do, then you're almost guaranteed a par, but you still have to make a good up shot. Or you can try to make it down onto 18's green and go for the birdie putt. Oh, the whole thing is scary. There's OB everywhere. Yep. The green is slopey. The basket's elevated. <laughs> Go, 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 go. Did you make it? I, I did. Okay. I barely all made right. it. I was throwing things low out of the hand all day, and this one almost snuck up and got me again. Oh. Emily's disc was just a bit too stable. Didn't quite get the glide down there. Mm -mm. Making the spotter use that red flag. <laughs> yeah, this was going to be the playoff hole if we had come to a tie at the end of the tournament because it's I I love the pressure this hole puts on the players. Absolutely. This is a great shot. Oh, I can't tell. Oh, red flag. So close. Page throwing a buzz, I believe, down the hill. Just wow. right side of the basket. It's a great shot. I can't even get there with a driver. Nice shot, Paige. <laughs> oh. So <laughs> Last hole, you guys are pinned down. You're like, just run it. Yep. Oh, it's fine. We were feeling good. We were having so much fun out there. Why not? Wow. Oh, my gosh. Jocelyn is on fire with the putts this round. Good height. Good height. Just mm -hmm. a little left of the basket. It's so hard going after someone makes a putt like that. It's just yeah. like, can we get a commercial break and then I'll throw? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, that was also a good bid. Just a little light and hyzered out. I know they're ready for their lunch break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These courses really take it out of you. All the elevation, they're long. It's a hot day, too, and you're ready to get off your feet for a few minutes. Tap in for the par. Man, well, we've got panic at the tee pad with the hot round, 11 down, uh, mid-pid proud. They're, these ladies coming in from Pennsylvania, hence the name, uh, shooting great. We've got Big Disc Energy, uh, Sherry Herzog's on that team. The Young Guns, I think the combined age of that team is like 54. Um, it's crazy, so excited to see those ladies. And please join us for the next round. <laughs> you guys have a great day.